<gasps> oh, hell yeah, brother. Here's to poop. <sighs>Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? Do you notice any changes besides the fact that I sound like this? Do you notice any other changes? Like perhaps a Christmassy, Christmassy miracle happening behind us. Holiday miracle, whatever, whatever, you know, stirs your spirit. We've got it right here for you. Okay, that's really it. I wanted to show y'all that because I'm excited about the tree. Got it from Amazon and I was excited about these. I'm I'm like in full swing. I'm in full, 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 full-fledged holiday spirit. And that's just my truth. I have a few cool show and tell items today because I just got them in the mail literally like two minutes ago and I'm excited. Well, I didn't I unboxed them. I just opened them two minutes ago. Barbie Dream House Adventure. Barbie Dream House Adventure and Little Friends Puppy Island. I don't know which company sent this to me. Which Whatever company is like the marketing people for both of these games, I didn't know they shared a marketing person. They sent them to me. Thank you. Thanks very much. I really wanted to try both of these games. I've tried this one on mobile and I just don't really see how they could charge $40 for what the game is, but we'll see. I'm gonna reserve my judgment and I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out and see. Then I got this, which is also really cool. My time at my time at Sand Rock Collector's Edition. I'm really excited about this because I feel like a lot of people liked my time at Porsche and I wasn't one of those people. But I hope that my time at Sand Rock is is an improvement on that because I liked the idea of my time at Porsche, but I, I feel like I just couldn't get into it as much as like Stardew Valley or something. I'm hoping maybe this is a better version of that game. That's all. I also did my I, I just uh, customized my own joy cons. It's for like a partnership that I'm doing, but I wouldn't have I would have never done this myself if it weren't for that because it scares me and rightfully so because the some of the parts are already messed up I can't I can't touch the like the button that takes like I can't press in the button that like you take the thing out I can't touch that button and then the left one is drifting terribly just absolutely terribly so <laughs> when you see that partnership cry for me because they were they were joy cons i didn't use anyways which was fine which is why i like wanted to do it it was it wasn't hard to do it was just hard to do right because i didn't know what i was doing why are we talking about this let's get into stardew god who's letting her talk who is letting this lady talk about nothing get her off of here Anyways, thank, thank you. This was the main, I just wanted to talk about this because I just got it in the mail and I thought that was fun. And the holiday background, that's it. And I got off on a tangent, I'm sorry for that. It'll never happen again. Oops, how did that happen? It will happen again, as most of you do know though. So thank you for being here anyways. Okay, we have Mara's birthday. We have the luau. Oh, having the luau is nice. Having the luau is nice. Having the luau is nice. I'm wet to the touch. Oh, why? I didn't read the rest of that. Oh, hello. We've got wine to sell. Is that Chila? Chila. Oh, he's bringing his toys to me. Like the good boy. Oh, I thought this was the hoe. It's not the hoe. I, if you can't tell, I'm, I'm in quite a like um, manic state. Not literally, obviously, but like I'm, I'm very much riding on a like absolutely, you know, disgustingly tired delusional high right now that's that's what's happening with me right now don't recommend it but yeah <laughs> so i've been sick for since monday sunday i was like i don't feel too good and i was working till late and then monday i was like full on sick and then so this week i've just been trying to like <laughs> I was gonna say trying to rest, but I haven't been doing that. I, Cause I can't. It's like one of those weeks where like you just can't afford to be sick. So I was like, okay, well I have to get all this stuff. I still have to get done, done and be sick. And so it's been that, it's been that, which is which is always fun. Granted, what I'm about to say, okay. I, there's some self-awareness coming, I promise. Granted, I have full control over my schedule and technically I could, I could be, I could be sick and I could take a day off, but I don't feel like it because guess what? And, and I have a privilege in the ability to do that a lot of people literally don't but i i mean i'm i i am unwell and so i <laughs> i fear more the act of having to like tell people i have to delay things and tell brands and stuff i have to delay things and then having to like catch up later and then everything's like double my my like responsibilities are double that week and the next week i fear that more than i fear just like just fucking powering through while i'm sick that's fine i'll do it i'll do it as long as i don't have literally a double schedule the next week fine fine 
so that's that's kind of my mentality you know if you wanted to if you wanted to really get into my head and be like what is kennedy really how does she make her decisions they seem so wise and they seem like they make so much sense i too would like to make those decisions for myself that's that's how that's how but i am feeling much better today i'm just annoyed that all of the content i'm filming i have this voice it's very frustrating i had to film like this big like one of my favorite videos to make for the year is like the gift guide video where i do a little gift guide for like cozy gamers and cozy hobbyists and i do a little gift guide and it's my favorite video to make and i put a lot of time and energy into it and i had to film it like this and this time, I actually had to this time. This was not me putting an arbitrary timeline on it. I genuinely had to. I had a due date. But, ugh, I mean, the things I have to get. Oh my god, the things I complain about are really non-problems. But it's fr it frustrates me, okay? It frustrates me. Yum. Okay, besties. We are... Oh, I forgot how cute our thing is after we decorated it oh hell yeah brother okay we're gonna bring these to the casks which i did the same freaking mistake i always do and i take out more wine than i need to take out because we don't have wine to fill it back up and why aren't these on the same schedule we're just gonna wait till they're on the same schedule so we have 26 so i'm putting some of the wine back you hear me anyways are you is anyone else also sick has anyone been sick lately because i feel like when i mentioned that i was sick everyone was like so am i or i just was or i feel like i'm really sick and it's i guess you know i guess just the, the time of year the time of year but also frustrating also frustrating i very much resent the complete flip that being sick took in live in our in life in our lives as adults because as a kid it was literally the best you could just ignore responsibilities and just stay in bed and watch tv and now you're like well i have so many things to do and i just wish i wasn't sick you know and that's capitalism's fault <laughs> i think that's i think we've gone long enough without talking about capitalism without bringing capitalism into it it's capitalism's fault i don't care i'm not gonna make an argument I'm, I'm blaming, playing the blame game here. Sometimes I just talk to talk, so I'm gonna stop. We've got our casks, kegs, casks filled. We can sell the rest, and I'm gonna go back down there to finish what I started. Piggies, oh piggies. Oh my God, I made myself tea and then I just left it. I just left it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I need that tea, I need it. Y'all watch me sew for me, watch me sew and poo for me, okay? I'll be back. I'm gonna get my tea. And and don't let me forget to eat this banana. Okay? I need the potassium. Tell me why I got it from the chair like a elderly librarian like this. This is how I got it. <gasps> That's just how I move. That's late 20s. That's late 20s for you. Please don't say wait till you're 30 something. Please. I'm begging you. I know it's going to be. It's, if I feel this way right now, imagine how I'll feel when I'm in my 30s. Please. I guarantee you feel how I feel right now. Imagine how I'll feel at 30. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> I am decrepit. I am decrepit. I have something else to say. Apparently, I have a lot to say today. I don't know what I'm doing today, though, is the problem. I guess we could always get more iron ore and gold ore organically instead of paying i suppose okay let's at least get copper i it pisses me off to pay for copper ore i'll pay for iron ore but copper ore you can kiss my booty i have something to say i am so frustrated with we talk about a lot of a lot of things on here right one of the things we talk about is just like how messed up how corrupt how <laughs> not for the people like our whole system and society is right we talk about that a lot i feel like that has never been more true and why does it look like this i feel like this is not how it normally looks i feel like that has never been more true and like apparent than right now and the only reason i bring this up is because i am sure y'all are sick of people on the internet telling you what to do right now in the, these times etc etc with everything going on in the world i'm gonna be vague about it because i don't i don't know i don't want youtube to yell at me or something 
The only thing I'm going to say is if you are getting your news from like the news channel, I, re I would recommend that you don't. I would recommend that you don't because every single piece of valuable news and informative news and telling news and news that kind of puts our, you know, leaders and the decisions, the, the, the reasonings behind their decisions in a bad light. Everything real, basically, I've gotten not from actual news sources. I've gotten from TikTok talk and other people who are listening to other people who are like on the ground and literally they aren't experiencing it every other news source is owned by a freaking investment company like four investment companies every single one is basically owned and run by those and so they're they're going to have a vested interest in making sure we all know what the <coughs> is going on okay except when it benefits them right so it's been really frustrating one of the i'll just talk about it from a personal stance instead of like you guys should be doing this because you know what y'all know what y'all are smart okay i'm not telling y'all what to do i'm just saying this has been my experience it's been so frustrating like i'll hear something and i'll be like whoa okay i want to look that up i'll use google google is not even a resource anymore google is literally like when you go to the like help desk at a university and you're like hey can i get help with this and they're like there's another office you can go to maybe and you're like okay where's that office and they're like i don't i don't know and you're like okay do you know like the name of it do you know the phone number no i think it's called this and you're like okay great and so then you have to you're on a wild goose chase all around your campus trying to figure out maybe this was just mine <laughs> i don't know <laughs> that's how mine was run that's what it's like google sucks google is zero source of information google presents like exactly what again the news wants you to see google's presenting like the top news sources the top whatever and it's all the same bs that they're putting on like every news source ever now there's some that are better than others fine fine but it's all the same it's all generally the same shit okay and it's so scary and it's so sad and it's even scarier and sadder that like really only our generation understands that and like obviously with with some exceptions but like i feel like our generation and younger are the only ones that are like no like no to question everything and question every source and like trust actual words from people who are there and experiences from people who are there versus just news sources to just because i heard the news the news is the one true source i'm pissy i'm pissy because i don't know i think there was like a sliver of me left that i'm i'm the biggest skeptic ever i'm of course always gonna be like you know the system's out to get us at being a woman of color okay but i think my last sliver of hope was in like free press and the news and this entire situation and how the news has handled everything that's been going down like shredded that last bit of hope i have and so it very much feels like us against this huge powerful full force that we have no tools to go up against you know what i mean so that's my that's my just my latest thoughts and feelings and it's been really yeah i don't know sad disillusioning that's that and i i if you haven't yourself bit first of all if you're just like i don't i don't even engage with any type of news understandable but also a little bit is good sometimes a little bit is good but if you do only get your new if you're like oh i don't go to tiktok or instagram because i feel like those aren't reliable i feel like the ties are changing especially in situations like this where the only true source of information you're going to get is from people who are there oh and, and then also be skeptical of that too I'll, I'll always be skeptical of that too but like not too skeptical where you're like everything is fake. <laughs> like don't go full conspiracy theorist but like do be skeptical of things you're getting apparently from the source because again there's like freaking ai propaganda campaigns out there and stuff now i'm sorry we are getting very uncozy today but some things need to be said okay and i had to get that off my chest because it's really really heartbreaking just like where things are going with our country and a democracy <laughs> it really fucking sucks so yeah <laughs> sound off in the comments if you agree uh, okay i think i'm gonna check oopsies did i just pick up a where did i get this rug from bessie's where did i was the rug here was it there i don't know where that rug was i don't know where i got that rug what well, today's mars birthday oops shit oh it was the luau okay the luau i forget what i need to bring let's look it up okay we got 20 
We got 24. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's better than the iron. My last thought on this is I feel like the best way to engage with current events right now because a lot a, a lot of things feel so and this is me figuring out for myself too i'm not telling y'all i'm not telling y'all i'm like this is the best way i'm like talking this through myself i feel like the best way to this is such a cute little freaking little little knife oh it's so cute god i need to keep it we don't have a carving knife okay i'm getting rid of bone swords for the carving knife the best way is to almost like remove yourself from the situation remove, remove yourself from current dynamics current understandings of things and put yourself so far in the future that you don't have any like context for what's happening and look at everything from that perspective look at how the media is shedding light on things look at what the media is focusing on and look at it as if you are writing the history books that you read in like high school college whatever how are they interpreting this how are they interpreting what the media is saying how are, how are they interpreting the decisions the government makes and why they make them how are they interpreting general themes of you know who who is the oppressor versus the oppressee like think about it that way that's how i think about it i also think about it with the context of like past historical events that have happened and just general themes and what has mattered to people and what has driven people to do things and i feel like that's that's really what allows you to have like an objective view of something to then walk away with your own informed perspective on it because if you just listen to what people are saying even you know if you just listen to what people on tiktok are saying if you just listen to your what your friends are saying if you just listen whatever if you're just listening to what the like whatever echo chamber you may be in or whatever like safe information receiving spot you might be in you are not engaging critically with the world around you and i feel like you owe that to yourself always 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 no matter what we're talking about okay always 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm this is me reminding myself as well engage critically with the world around you that's it that's the last thing i'm going to say about it because i know heavy topics and people come here to escape from things like that so we're talking about it just to just 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 because it's been on my mind okay i need to sell these bone swords y'all said i could sell them at the guild let me put this copper away what do i do with bug meat what do i do with bug meat oh that's what I do with bug meat. Okay, what did I just say I was gonna do? Oh, I didn't mean to. It was goat cheese too. Shoot. Oh, I was gonna check on the wines. Checking on the wines. Check. Oh yes. Okay, we'll come back to that after the animals. I'm. So, I. I keep hearing myself talk, and it's so nasally, and it's so terrible, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Oh, uh, in some better news, or rather some lighter news, Iron Flame came out, the sequel to Fourth Wing, and the book talk girlies have been eating Rebecca Yaros up. Is that her name? What's her name? Yeah, they've been eating her up. It's so funny. It is It is so funny. I, I love a like drag that's uh, low stakes. I love a low stakes drag. And truly, like Rebecca Yaros is going to be fine in life. People are still going to buy her book. She's going to be fine so this was just like dang get her gather her ass get her together like read her to filth it was so funny basically i didn't i didn't know this i don't know this but i also didn't write a book where i was claiming to have knowledge about it right apparently there's like two languages or two dialects whatever i think two languages there's like gallic and gaelic and i think rebecca yaros was using one of them as like inspiration or not even she didn't even say inspiration she was using like gaelic words or gallic i don't know which one two different languages in as like names for dragons and like names for places and stuff and an actual person who spoke whichever language it is that she was using was like okay old girl has no idea what she's talking about i don't know what these words are but they aren't they she goes they are spelled like the words from our language but they're not pronounced that way and then like showed a clip from this interview that she was in where she's like i think it's it's pronounced like bez bez bezgith or something but she's like but i pronounce it bezgayeth and she was like that's not even you can't that's not even like you can't do you can't just not pronounce it the way it's pronounced like it, there's a pronunciation for a reason and it's like honoring this like you know minority language or whatever i don't know the term i think it's the minority language like there's it's it's not a like it's a it's a it's a like it's a language you gotta kind of respect the language if you're using a girlfriend and so the girl was um going through all of the different names that she used in the book from this language 
and totally just made up the pronunciations. Like you have to tell the reader, the audiobook reader, narrator, okay, this is how like I want something pronounced. So she just like decided like, I think this sounds good and told the audiobook, the narrator that. And so everything was pronounced that way. I think she got slack for it. And so then they went back and like, they like inserted a bunch of corrections for all of the pronunciations. I didn't, I didn't listen to that one, but apparently it's like super clunky because they went back and were just like, best Gaya instead. Of- <laughs> like, imagine I was riding at dawn and went to best Gaya and then I da da da. Like, oh my God, it's going to be absolutely, it's, I almost want to re-listen to it so that I can hear the clunkiness of it because it would be hilarious. But it just strikes me as particularly audacity filled so much audacity to you know take and it's not like she was like oh i was inspired by this it was like no i used this language she literally says like i used gaelic or gallic or whatever and she like gets them confused sometimes i think too it's silly it's silly goofy silly goofy low stakes drama mess and i love it so that's what has been going down in the in the book community but her book came out and so obviously all of this is coming back up when her book comes out because of course um i almost feel a little bit bad for her but i don't know be more careful i guess okay i think i got all of the things okay cool what do i need for the luau (sighs) get back down there get 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 I want to go. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. But anyways, her book came out. Okay, her book came out. I'm listening to it currently. And so far it's good. So far it's good. I think it was like tainted a little bit by all the stuff that happened because at first I just like was fully enjoying the book and was like, hell yeah. Like, you know, this is well written. And now I'm like, ah, man. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fine. (laughs) It's fine. I'm still enjoying it. Have y'all started it? Have y'all finished it? I'm sure someone just like ripped through it. I'm sure. My hope for this one is that it ends not on another cliffhanger. I don't really like cliffhanger books. I don't. Because then it's like it you, it can't stand alone and it has to rely, you know, you it, you have to keep reading. I, I, I will forget. I will forget everything. I will forget in a second. I don't have to keep reading, actually. I will just simply forget every character you ever wrote. Sorry, I don't mean to, but I will. I forgot to put new lines in it. Shoot. So yeah, I, that's I don't I don't I don't necessarily like cliffhangers. But oh, so so my hope is that this book doesn't end on a cliffhanger and is just kind of like can stand in, on its own, has its own story, has its own point to the story, and there's some character arcs. That's my hope. Everything else is just a little bit, a little bit of spice and mess in between, and I'm happy with that. I'll take it. Okay. You know, I haven't given my wife a truffle, and God, who's to say? It's been forever. And I don't even have one to give her. I'm ashamed. Oh, I gotta go check the greenhouse. I gotta check the greenhouse. Oh, we're good. We're good. We are good. I will say, update on the, on the romanticizing self-improvement. It's very much been helping me i feel like a little a little reframing goes such a long way because it has helped me tremendously like i i've had such a rough past couple of weeks just in terms of like busyness levels and then like getting sick and stuff it's been really rough and like busy and non-stop and i have literally not had like a single day in the past two weeks to just like chill out and oh <sighs> And yet I have found the energy almost every night to do like nighttime routines, which is like my biggest goal. I just want to do nighttime routine and skincare because I I always am like finally get done with stuff at like 9, 30, 10. And then I just want to go to sleep. Instead, I've been romanticizing the nighttime moments and I do a little nighttime routine. And sometimes I'll like read a little bit at night, watch something I just have a little bit of me time at night, which is really nice. And I think that's why I've been able to like keep going these past couple weeks of just like, I've been in like autopilot mode. But I think that's why I've like haven't crashed is because I do have those little, little tiny moments of me time in the evenings. It's important. So if anyone was like, oh, I don't know, girl, I'm going to wait till you come back and you, you sign off on this idea and see if it actually helps. It does. It does. It helps. So this is your sign. Romanticize your self-improvement. Cheers. Here's to poop.
I got this Madeline syrup. It's so good. It's like a, someone said it was a dupe for the sugar cookie, uh, like Starbucks drink. And I was like, I need that because I'm not going to Starbucks right now. 1883 Maison Routine. And when I posted this on my story and I was like, ooh, this was, it's Madeline. Okay, Madeline, you can find it on Amazon. French Madeline syrup, 1883 Maison Routine is the uh, name of it. But it's so good. It's so good. I almost like it better than the whatever sugar cookie stuff they use at Poop Bucks because I don't know. I like Madeleines more than I like sugar cookies, so <laughs> it's delicious. Highly recommend. Oh my God, the day started. Okay. Oh, what I was saying is when when I posted it on my story, a bunch of people were like, that's literally this the brand of syrup. I love that brand of syrup. It's a syrup we use at like my craft, you know, boutique coffee shop or my like, you know, small coffee shop, which I trust. I trust. I trust those over anything. Luau. Wow. Oh, I haven't been saving stuff. Okay, we can do silver quality wine. I don't think we had any left. I just sold it. Silver quality goat cheese. Shoot, friends, shoot. Gold or iridium quality melon. A gold or iridium quality melon. Okay, how about a gold star fruit? Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. I'm not even looking. I'm not even getting something easier. I think we did. I think each year we've done goat cheese, but I am not doing that. I'm doing this because it was the first thing I saw. And we get friendship from everybody. So we'll we'll be we'll be we'll be set. If if we're losing a little bit of friendship with anybody, we'll be set from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, amazing. Oh, when you talk with villagers at the festival, you can increase your friendship with them. I did not know that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I'm gonna get a couple of these. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do like these these torches. Torches are fun. Okay. I mean, why not get a little crazy, right? Why not? Let's talk to the finicky ones. These two can be quite finicky. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel like everyone else is actually pretty easy. Okay, I think we're good with everyone else. All right, let's add our star fruit. Iridium quality. Oh, because of the foraging thing. Oh. Well, I'm adding my star fruit, so take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Shane, I don't care. Haley, I don't care. Alex, I don't care. You, I don't care. No, I do care. You, I don't care. You, I do care. Both of you, I don't care. Where's my friend Krobus? Shane, I do care. I mean, what's his name? Sebastian, I'm so sorry. That was disrespectful. You, I really don't care. You, I care a little bit. I do care a little bit about you. I do. Willie, I care so much. Willie, come here. Willie, how are you? I missed you. I miss you so much. And like, like, remember our like journeys out to Ginger Island together back when like I needed you to get there and like we, you told me about like your past and like, <sighs> I miss that. I miss that, Willie. No, I just okay um i already said hi to you oh we've got we've got papa and daughter over here she's just staring creep she's always just staring creepily at him i wonder if he knows he's a wizard he's gotta know he's a wizard Pam, i do care a little bit about you gus i love you gus gus remember they remember when i would come to your thing and then you would teach me recipes that's just my head cannon. i don't know caroline i wish you had more of a personality but it's not your fault harvey i don't know things are awkward with harvey Maru, Maru's cool. Linus, you're cool, man. You're cool. What was Maru saying about Linus? Maru, keep his name out your mouth unless it's positive. Okay. I'm learning the secrets of the perfect roast. Okay. Ooh, okay. Governor, who cares? Why should I care about some random old guy? I'm with you, Sam. I'm with you, Marlin. You're all right, man. You're all right. Okay. Pierre, you suck. Okay, let's talk to the governor. You must. You really must. I did. Okay. I did. Gosh. Uh, one of these days we gotta do, we gotta mix it up. I don't want to lose friendship with everybody, but one of these days we've gotta mix it up. I need a little. I need a little variety. I do. Um. We, I. I want him to be. You know. Maybe just. Maybe just okay with it. Why not? You know. Just to feel something. Just to feel something. Okay, let's go to sleep. Oh, okay, tomorrow we're decorating with all of the fun little doodads we got. Because doodads we did get. Doodads we did get. Doodads aplenty, if you will. Okay, let's do the doodads. Hey, wife. Oh, she's like, it reminds me of living by the river. I took you away from that life. I know you resent me. It's okay. It's fine. You want to go back to the river, huh? <laughs> what is this? What is this? What's coming out today? What is this?
it's time to get serious, please. I don't really know if we needed torches, but I can't be stopped, so. Hey, are the piggies full grown yet? No, not quite. They are awfully cute though. Okay, I know we started off. Uh oh, these are finally done, thank God. Okay, we started off with this light green, but now we're going, don't ask questions. Now we're going, we're gonna go tropical. Okay, don't ask questions. We're going tropical and we're going jungle. Fine, I feel like it breaks it up a bit. Keeps it interesting, you know? Yeah, that's cute. Wait, let me, hello? Cute. I like that. That's cute. Okay, let's go. Oh, finally. Okay, now we can have these all on the same schedule. At least each, I was going to call them houses, each shed can be on its own schedule. At least. At least. Okay, I'm going to leave those two open until they're on the same schedule. They're only one day apart. They're only one day apart. So that actually, right? Or was it two days? I think it was two days. It wouldn't be that much of a loss to wait on one of the sheds for the other sheds to get them on the same schedule. But for now, we just need to get each shed on the same schedule. Okay. Yay. Okay, let's put some more decor over here. This one, uh, this one kind of makes sense not to have jungly features in it, but it's okay. I think this still works. Yeah, that's cute. Cute! Oh, I like that. That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make two kegs for outside the sheds. Okay, I'm gonna bring this to the mines, and we're gonna go mine some more. Oh wait, I was gonna make. Okay. Ooh, we can make. I mean, why not? Why not clear? You know, clear the stock. Okay, one there, one here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put one in just. The same day. So if at the end of the day that one's on, that means it's 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 whatever. You get it. Okay. I'll leave those to sync up with the other two. <sighs> it's coming together. It's coming together. Slowly but surely. Go on, little animals. Go back to your homes, please. Thank you. Thanks very much. You know what's so funny? The other day, we have nothing to do, so we're, we're just gonna chit chat. The other day, <laughs> I was in here and Sheila came in and he sat, he like usually, I have two poofs in here, like floor poofs. I have this tufted one and then I have one that looks like almost like a flat, like puffy, like a flattened bean bag poof, right? And he always just smells that one. He used to sit on it and then he stopped and he now he just always smells it. And I'm like, Chila, are you going to like get on it? Do you want to get on it? Like anytime he comes in and smells it, I'm like, just get on it. Like he used to get on it all the time. He never get never got on it any anymore. I thought it was weird. Didn't think anything of it. The other day, I think this was like two days ago, he walks in and I'm like, hi, Chita boy. I'm like over at my desk doing something. He walks in and I see him sit on top of it. And I said, oh, that's weird chila boy you're sitting on it and i went over to him i realized he was squatting on it because he was pissing on it he was pissing on it our little piss boy back at it again pissing on things just for funsies but i didn't realize i didn't realize yet i just was like chila why did you do that i thought it was like out of nowhere he just decided suddenly today in front of me to piss on this little poof and i was like chila i don't understand like i was sitting there like eye to eye with him like chila help me understand why you just did that i don't understand you i literally i don't i don't understand did i do something what is there like what i don't understand i was trying to i was racking my brain like what is this what is this scenario that would make him piss on this randomly i like took it out of the room to take it to the trash and i was like let me just smell it i smell it it's smells like piss everywhere and i think that like material of it it just absorbs so well that like you couldn't smell it like usually i know when he's repeatedly peeing on something because you eventually smell it but it absorbed it so well you couldn't smell the smell so only he could smell it when he came up to it which is why he kept he would come up and smell it and be like mm -hmm, that's still my piss and walk off and so this whole time he's just been pissing on it secretly somehow without me seeing and this was just the first time i caught him it's always it's never the first time you're seeing it this was just the first time I caught him. And so I realized, oh, he, okay. It's not that like he randomly decided to pee on this one thing. It's because he likes peeing on stuff like this. He loves, we don't have bean bags in the house. We don't have like little fluffy, poofy bean bag type things because he loves peeing on them. He just loves, like he loves the texture. He loves the feel. It's like his favorite type of pee. It's a luxury piss for him. So we just don't keep those things in the house. And I was like, maybe this is flat enough where he won't pee on it. And then I thought this whole time that it was. And I was like, oh, look at him. He's good. He hasn't peed on anything. The other day I was just like, Pila, Pila, Pila. 
The other day I was like, Gila just like hasn't peed on anything since we moved in. Like he's doing well. Like he's adjusting well. I think he really feels safe here. My boy was peeing on this poof the whole time. This was his designated pee poof. So anyways, that's my Gila piss update, piss boy update. Let's hope he doesn't now find something else that he wants to pee on because I took that away from him. I don't know. He's been good about not peeing on literally anything else, but I don't know if it's because he's had that to pee on. He hasn't peed on it that much but it's like a little treat for him, you know? He just goes and pisses on it. So we'll see, I'll give you updates if needed. <laughs> you never know with, with Chila, the spite pisser, extraordinaire. Um, let's do Cozy Corner. <laughs> let's do Cozy Corner. Okay, we have Cozy OXO with a lovely setup picture. Your setup makes me feel so peaceful and calm, and I love it, absolutely love it. We have Libra Gaming Cozy with a little Animal Crossing time. I love it. I love how bright all of your pictures are it makes me so happy we've got legolas with a just a adorable cute little animal crossing picture with some holiday items i haven't touched animal crossing since they didn't make the trees orange quick enough for me if the trees weren't orange on october 31st what are you doing it's fall it's squarely fall on october 31st I want orange trees. I was upset, so I haven't touched it since. That's not really re the reason, but I do love the idea of decorating for Animal Crossing for the holidays. Animal decorating, my brain is deteriorating with this sickness, I swear. I love the idea of decorating in Animal Crossing for the holidays. Oh yeah, yeah. Something about doing it when the trees are orange. Now don't and now don't make sense. Put some damn snow on the trees. Animal Crossing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Legolas. I just used your post event. <laughs> Today's a venti ranty day, and I appreciate you for sticking around. Thank y'all. Maybe next week we'll be more positive. We'll see. We have Cozy Joy with a little witchy life story. I love it. We have Cozy Korok with just the cutest little Switch Animal Crossing picture. Today's your birthday. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday. We have another Animal Crossing birthday. Someone else had one last week, right? So cute. Happy belated birthday. We have Cozy Nina with just a lovely little minimalist setup. I love a minimalist setup. All white with a little hint of green. Oh, I love it. A little bit of little bit of beige. Just just my favorite color combo. Then we have Cozy Leon with such a cute flat lay. I love this. I love it. And then our cozy friend of the week. Let me find them. We have one. We have one. There we go. Our cozy friend of the week is Cozy Korok. Hi, Cozy Korok. We got like a double feature from Cozy Korok. Thank you so much. Keeping me sane with a Stardew playthrough during the workday. Aww. First of all, your workday looks really cute. Looks really, really cute. I want to like curl up under your desk and just be there. I'd feed you snacks maybe. I, I think that's the only way I could really help. But I appreciate you watching some Stardew and listening to me rant. <laughs> Somehow me ranting about capitalism and, you know, news media seems a little less cool when it's when when a lovely wholesome teacher is watching them <laughs> a little less okay <laughs> sorry for the rants today i needed to get it off my chest i love you guys so much i was trying to think of something you know you know something to 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 strive for this week i was gonna say make time for yourself but I'm not listening to that myself this week. So let me give something that I am listening to myself. Be skeptical, get a lot of, get a lot of intake from a lot of different sources and talk to people in your life about things that are happening. And also make time for yourself to like process everything that's happening in your life. And don't just like, don't engage so much that you can't do anything and you're like immobilized and you're just static and sadness and fear and everything but stay engaged enough to where you know what's going on and you can actually help and do things and yeah make sure you are maintaining your inner peace by taking time away because you have the privilege to taking time away to recharge to process unpack recenter stay cozy all of that it's important it's really important as someone who's been a lifelong advocate of a lot of things because i've had to be keeping yourself sane and above water <laughs> is the most important thing otherwise you can't be an effective advocate you can't help your community and the people around you and that's it i love you so much stay cozy bye <laughs>